Hi guys, I want to show you a software from Sony to work with your images. The name is Image Data Converter. It's uh, very nice. You have uh, a lot of functionality. You can work with JPEG files, no matter what camera it's used. So that gives you very good tools to work with. Like you don't need professional program like Photoshop. You can do a lot of things here also. So uh, in in JPEG mode the, you, you don't have all the functionality that you have uh, for RAW but um, you have uh, one of the most important thing in, that is the curves. So if you know how to use curves uh, there is practically everything is possible everything you can achieve just from uh, curves for example uh, if you move uh, oh. oh no it, it doesn't work ah it works so it's nice ok we don't need that Uh, the update is a uh, little bit slower okay, can you see so right now the dark areas are a little bit greenish one that uh, that's very nice effect you can use that uh, it gives very nice feeling in the image so if if you want you can go to the other and pull them a little bit up So right now, so in order to not lose quality, because other way you're just clipping. Uh, now it's better. And uh, you can um, you can mark, you can move, uh, you can add more points. So in order this effect to be only on the the lowest part, not so much changing uh, the other colors like that. So now, like you see, the 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 person is uh, almost the same colors, and um, that affects only the very dark areas. So like I like I said, uh, from curves you can do almost everything you wish. Uh, you can make uh, the light that comes a little bit uh, yellow if you want. The update is a little bit slower. No, not this direction. So this direction. like that and uh, if you want to work uh, with some color uh, you actually need to think uh, wh which is the opposite color so it's very confusing in the beginning if I want warm color I need to go not to the red and to the opposite colors Is it updated now or not? It's a little bit slower, but it's not a big deal. No, I don't see any result. Let's go another direction. With uh, with curves you can ah yeah yeah it's more like it so you see uh, very small changes how they affect the image
you can add uh, more points for for more accurate editing in order to to control the, the curve a little bit better like uh, now it's the image is much much more different and of course you can use uh, you can use different uh, creative approach from for the different images so having uh, that functionality with uh, with the curves and uh, be able to work with uh, almost every JPEG you want it does that's really nice and it's come for free so uh, I think it's really worth it and there is a lot of uh, creative things you can achieve from uh, from just uh, making cur different curv curvatures for every color and you have like uh, main curvature for brightness and contrast it's a little bit slower how, how though but ah, that's it and I think we can go to green and blue one more time so I actually gonna save that because I really like the way So, how to save image? Oh no, it's too much. Too much. Here, there is the option to save as. And I can uh, call it color edit. is okay so you need to have um, some sort of understanding for uh, the, how the colors change uh, where the picture goes Yeah, it's right here, but why well, I don't see it in the preview? Yeah, you need to you need to select the folder one more time so in order to refresh the files in it. Uh, this this is way too much. I overdid it, but uh, you kind of uh, get the the idea how you can change colors in your images very precisely like in the dark areas in the middles and uh, in the white areas so I really recommend to use that uh, program if, if you like to thank you